Hello again folks, tonight's video is another competition time video, this time it's for 2000 subscribers which means the prize is going to be a super duper numero uno type prize, um, gotta sound like what's his face off uh, Crystal Maze, Richard O'Brien, yeah, for those of you who haven't seen Crystal Maze it was an awesome show back in the late 90s, early 2000s, something like that, yeah go on, go on if you haven't seen it that is, go on uh, YouTube and search for um, Probably if you search for, will you start the fans, please, uh, you'll find out all about the Crystal Maze. But I digress yet again. Um, yeah, I'll be doing the competition time at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. First of all, I thought we'd take a look at yet another budget multimeter. In this case, it's the NK Tech NK51E. Now, this was recommended to me by means of a comment on my previous basic multimeter showdown or budget multimeter showdown uh, video. And uh, the YouTube user Moon Brownie or Moon Brawny, um, he or she said, have a look at this meter. It's uh, fairly cheap and it's a good little meter. So I duly went out and purchased one from uh, AliExpress. Uh, just £9.35 on one of those uh, flash sale type things. At the time of making this video, it's about ten and a half quid, something like that. But, you know, still a pocket money meter. Um, and yeah, it came today and I have to say it's it's not a bad little meter. It's reasonably robust, you know. It comes with uh, a sort of TPU style, or TPU type um, cover or holster. Of course, we get a set of probes and these are reasonable quality. Claim to be uh, 1000 volts cat 3. Uh, we get printed instructions. Again, these are, have been reasonably translated, no problems with there. And we get a small NK Tech screwdriver, which is a nice addition. You don't always get that. In fact, I've never had a little screwdriver uh, included with a multimeter. It takes a standard 9-volt uh, PP3 battery. Uh, it claims to be fused. We've got a 120... Sorry. Sorry, we've got a 250 milliamp fuse and a 10-amp fuse uh, for the two uh, current inputs there. Usual features, as you'd expect. Voltage, both DC and AC. Uh, resistance, diode and continuity. Capacitance, uh, which is always a nice function to have on a meter. Frequency and our current ranges. Now, you're probably going to think I'm stupid when I say this, but I like to judge in a meter on its ability to measure uh, continuity. Now, I have to say the Anang's got a nice latching uh, continuity mode so that's to say even if you don't get a perfect connection as long as it makes connection even for the, the shortest amount of time there will be a nice audible beep where on this one it's a bit yeah bit bleh. if you don't get a good connection it's not going to beep you know so just be conscious of that fact um i did have a problem when i was measuring continuity on this uh meter when i selected that function though when I selected continuity, it just kept beeping at me and kept seeing millivolts up here, or, or DC volts. Um, and the only way I could actually resolve it, believe it or not, was to do that quite a few times and it actually cleared the fault. So I can only presume there's quite a lot of lubricant on the, the contacts onto the PCB and it's maybe caused it to have a little bit of a, a, little bit of a nightmare inside, but it seems to be okay now. Um, We've started off on a negative foot, I suppose, really, so I'll just continue with that. Um, the only other thing I don't like about this meter, uh, I'll compare it to the Anang here. It's on millivolt range here. I'll put this on DC volts here. We can see both screens are refreshing as it's on millivolts. If I press hold, the screens uh, freeze. And if I press it again, they start refreshing. If I want to turn the backlight on, you press and hold the backlight button. Same on both meters. Um, and if you watch both meters, I'll do them both at the same time. So press 3, 2, 1, press and hold. Both backlights have come on. This one's refreshing. This one is on hold. If I press and hold again to turn the backlights off. Yep, refreshing, refreshing. So this has got, a, you know, can you know detect essentially not detect but you know what i mean it's been programmed so that a single hold holds it sorry a single push holds it and a long hold turns on the backlight this one does both press and hold it hold comes on automatically and then the backlight press and hold it again hold comes off and the backlight comes off really a really simple oversight by the designer of the you know the the programming for this in my opinion anyway but yeah, um, 
overall not too bad a meter for the money but i thought it'd be interesting to um compare the voltages and you know based on this voltage reference the ad584 which you've seen in that previous video so i did this off camera just to speed up the video and um, that's the voltage references on the uh, calibration certificate that is the selected voltage and the figures here on this top half of the, the aneng is the previous uh, voltage which i took in that other video now the reason i did that was because it just happens to be 21 degrees here in the workshop tonight so i just wanted to test it when it was the same temperature and i have to say if we look uh, compare these figures uh, so these figures as you say these are the ones tonight with the reference you can see that it has come in a bit more into spec so 2.499 2.489 so 0 0.01 off there um but closer than the previous reading 5.001 5.001 so it's 0 0.003 more closer to the the reference in fact it's bang on the reference 7.49 now this one is a bit of a a rogue this is actually worse than the previous reading and uh, lastly the 10 volt reading exactly the same as it was the last time so i did exactly the same test with the the nk tech the nk51e uh 2.49 2.489 so yeah close close enough again so 0 0.001 out 4.98 0 0.02 out 7.48 0 0.02 out and 9.98 0 0.02 out look guys again i've said a hundred times before it's a budget me uh, it's a budget multimeter 0 0.02 of volt will make zero difference to your project i can assure you of that so make your own mind up hey i certainly would suggest that the aneng as it stands in my non-scientific experiments uh, remains king of the budget multimeters as far as i'm concerned uh, really pleased with it and um, i think i will get the other models and test those for accuracy as well but uh, yeah that brings me on to competition time so like i say 2000 subscribers um, i will send you a reasonably good prize uh, based on your interests and you know not ability that sounds patronizing your level of uh, electronics experience that's what we'll say so um yeah you might have a multimeter you might not want another one uh, you might prefer a project you might prefer just some components or a better range of components whatever it is um i'll be in contact once you've once we've uh, drawn the prize uh, but first of all i'm jumping ahead of myself here i need you to get you to enter the prize draw and how we're going to do that this time is just leave a comment about um one of the meters what one you prefer you think's the better um obviously do, well, you can consider accuracy if you want i'm talking more about features and design and all that good stuff um, and also if you want to invite one of your geeky electronics friends to subscribe to my channel as well get them enter as uh, to enter as well and um you know you're essentially doubling your chance of winning uh, go halfers on the prize or whatever so yeah by all means do that i'll keep the competition open for a week i'll do the draw next monday um i'll probably hit 2000 subscribers subscribers tomorrow so i will leave it open a week just to give you that opportunity to enter until then guys thank you very much for watching and um, if you enjoyed the video give me the thumbs up if you didn't give me the thumbs down and um, in terms of not enjoying the video as well if you didn't enjoy the video hopefully you did um but if you don't want to see any more multimeter videos please let me know and i won't do any more i don't want to bore you with them um but yeah happy days if you haven't already done so and you'd like to do so click on my fat head here and until next time as always take care of yourselves and all the best